Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today's discussion ventures into a topic that's deeply embedded in human interaction, pursuit, judgment, and the intricate dance of attraction. We're delving into the notion of walk away, men don't chase women. The judgment in pursuit. The judgment entwined with pursuit represents a deeply ingrained facet of human interaction, especially in the realm of romantic or intimate encounters. It's a psychological landscape that bears the weight of potential rejection, creating a whirlwind of emotions and cognitive evaluations within individuals. When we consider pursuing someone we're attracted to, it's akin to offering our most vulnerable self for scrutiny. This act initiates a process where we anticipate an evaluation of our desirability, not just on a superficial level, but in terms of our genetic fitness, a subconscious assessment of whether we are suitable for continued reproduction. This implicit judgment is a survival mechanism rooted in our evolutionary past, where our genes and their chances of survival were deeply connected to our ability to find a mate. The fear of rejection in pursuit is no trivial matter. It's a genuine primal fear of being deemed unworthy or unsuitable for continuation, a fear of being judged and discarded. This fear often paralyzes individuals, making them hesitant or anxious about making their intentions known. The possibility of being relegated to the category of just friends or facing outright rejection is daunting, leading to hesitation and inaction. This judgment doesn't merely exist in the realm of romantic interest, but extends to societal hierarchies and the expectations embedded within them. There's a significant weight placed on one's social status and perceived desirability, which can exacerbate the fear of judgment. Men, in particular, might find themselves bound by societal expectations, where the fear of not meeting these standards amplifies the apprehension associated with pursuing a potential partner. Moreover, this judgment can have a lasting impact, especially when it's repeated or internalized. Past rejections or perceived failures in pursuit can contribute to a negative self-assessment, affecting one's self-worth and confidence in future interactions. The fear of judgment becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading to a cycle of avoidance or self-sabotage in relationships. Male Territoriality and Social Status Male territoriality and social status are intricate aspects of human behavior that often influence how men navigate their interactions, relationships, and pursuits. These elements stem from evolutionary and societal constructs that have shaped and continue to influence male behavior. Territoriality, a concept often associated with animals marking and defending their territory, also finds expression in human behavior, particularly among men. In a social context, this territoriality manifests in various ways, including the establishment and defense of personal space, social status, or perceived dominance within social hierarchies. Men, historically and across cultures, have often been socialized to compete for resources, recognition, and mates. The notion of territory extends beyond physical spaces and into domains like professional careers, social circles, and romantic endeavors. The pursuit and defense of status in these realms become significant markers of male identity. Social status plays a pivotal role in defining how men perceive themselves and are perceived by others. It can impact self-worth, confidence, and the ability to establish intimate relationships. In many societies, a man's social status can be influenced by factors such as wealth, career success, physical prowess, or even perceived attractiveness. Men often feel pressured to conform to societal expectations of success and dominance, which can lead to stress, anxiety, or a constant need to assert their status. Moreover, social status intertwines with the notion of masculinity. Societal norms often dictate that men should display characteristics like strength, assertiveness, and competitiveness to attain and maintain their status. The fear of losing this status, whether in the eyes of their peers or potential partners, can be a significant source of anxiety for many men. In the pursuit of social status and the fear of losing it, men might experience challenges in their interpersonal relationships. For instance, 
a fear of rejection or a perceived loss of status could hinder their ability to initiate or maintain romantic connections. This fear may lead to avoidance behavior, limiting their chances of forming meaningful relationships. The Symbolism of Femininity in Mate Selection The symbolism of femininity in mate selection encompasses a multifaceted interplay between evolutionary biology, societal norms, and individual preferences. Across cultures and time, certain traits and attributes associated with femininity have been valued and sought after in the context of choosing a mate. Evolutionary psychology suggests that many mate selection preferences are rooted in our evolutionary past. The idea of femininity often encompasses qualities that signal fertility, nurturing capabilities, and the potential to be a suitable reproductive partner. These traits, which may include physical features like youthfulness, symmetry, and health, are believed to be markers of reproductive fitness and have been historically favored in mate selection. Beyond physical attributes, femininity also embodies behavioral and psychological characteristics that are considered attractive in potential partners. Traits such as warmth, empathy, kindness, and emotional intelligence are often associated with femininity and are highly valued in interpersonal relationships. These traits are seen as indicators of a person's ability to nurture and maintain a healthy relationship, which plays a significant role in mate selection. Societal norms and cultural influences further shape the symbolism of femininity in mate selection. The portrayal of feminine ideals in media, literature, and cultural narratives often reinforces certain stereotypes and expectations. These may include notions of beauty, grace, submissiveness, or domesticity, which can influence individuals' perceptions of an ideal partner. However, it's crucial to recognize that individual preferences in mate selection can vary widely. Not everyone is drawn to the same set of traits or characteristics associated with femininity. Personal experiences, values, and cultural backgrounds heavily influence what individuals find attractive in a partner. Conclusion. Understanding the dynamics of pursuit, judgment, and the unconscious forces at play illuminates the intricacies of human interaction. Exploring these complexities enables us to navigate our emotions, perceptions, and relationships more insightfully.